Hello everybody and welcome to the pre-alpha build of Wanderlust. Now this is a zombie survival game so you build yourself like a little camp and try to survive against the uh, rather derpy looking zombie hordes there. Um, thank you very much to Crytivo for providing me with a key to this one. It is also in Kickstarter so I'll leave details below as to how you can get involved with that. So let's jump in and have a little look at uh, the game. So you've got many many things you need to know. <laughs> Shift to sprint, space to dash, all sorts of things to help you fight. Clothes to keep you warm. Zombies can drop clothing. Press E to check the zombie for loot. I for infantry, C for crafting, H for equipment, Tab for minimap, M for map, L for... Uh, I'll click the icon to level up. Click the item in infantry to expand its info. Right click the item to open a drop down menu. Now this is a lot it's a lot you can always reopen this if you want to take another look at it and see if there's anything you need to do R for a, a arrow load um, hold right mouse button to deconstruct now that's an interesting one because uh, I just had a problem uh, when I was playtesting it where I got stuck on my own workbench so if you do that then I imagine a deconstruct action might help you to get yourself unstuck so anyway I'm gonna go and uh, there we are. Gonna start. So we need to start by cooking up, picking up all the stuff off the truck. Lovely. So I've got my first weapon there. Also, if you press E on the bag, there's some cooked vegetables in there. You can come back to the um, truck once every so often, just to whoop, 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 whoop. Get off me, man! I was trying to explain stuff to my audience. Get away from me, you horror! And you can uh, press E to see if there's any loot. Doesn't look like that one had any, I guess. Mind you, what I might need to do is uh, not have an, a weapon equipped when I check them because that might buff them uh, away. But anyway, any any who, um, the next thing we need to do is pick up some rocks around the car. And then I'm going to do something that it's not going to tell me to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to get this bottle. I'm going to... It doesn't give you enough time to do all the other bits before it tells you to fill your bottle up. So I think we need to do that first. So you hold E to fill the bottle. Lovely. And then you put it in your little water pouch thing in your back. And that will just slowly fill you up with water. Um, okay, so now I need to go and gather plant fibre and sticks from saplings. Such as this one, this one, pretty much any saplings or um, fibre giving plants that I see I'm going to try and collect them to start with, they're quite important. I try not to get too close to things. now. I'll just show you the levels. We've got strength, which affects the melee damage, chopping speed, bow draw, encumbrance, and more. Dexterity is uh, move speed, sprint speed, sprint stamina, loss, and dash frequency. Um, constitution is endurance, uh, determines health and stamina, as well as stamina regeneration time. Uh, intelligence is crafting speed and how easily recipes are learned. So I'm going to start with um, a couple of constitution and a strength, I think. Go with that. I think they're good early skills. Now we're going to take a look around. Now, every time I've restarted this game, it's given me like a different map. So I feel like it might be a procedurally generated one. Either that or there's, um, you know, just a few different maps that you can go onto and it randomly assigns you one. Probably procedurally generated. You're like, Shelab, why are you getting all these sticks? Because, oh my goodness, do you need sticks in this game? Go around the whole map gathering sticks. One thing I do quite like is that the um, if you start gathering from something, you will, you'll continue to gather from it. So any little flower on the floor will give you fibre. Fiddlehead fern stalk. Probably give me some more fibre too. No, 
it also gave me oh tomato seeds very nice so i haven't worked out farming yet at all in the slightest okay i should have plenty of stuff now to make myself a load of cordage and then a few sharp stones and then that should allow me to make um, an axe and a spear whether it'll let me do it doesn't let you cure it unless you've got the ingredients so i'm going to carry on walking around hello bun bun i haven't seen a bun bun before that's interesting i'm going to carry on going around getting um fiber veggies sticks while it's still while it's still daylight it's 12 20 right now my water's doing okay i'm going to probably set up a, a, like a little camp Kind of by the water, hopefully. What was that? I need a shovel. Oh, interesting. All sorts of interesting, cool things going on. But all in all, I just feel like I need a lot of sticks. As many sticks as I can find. Okay. Now let's see if I can do an axe and a spear. Wooden spear. Stone spear takes a heavy stick. Okay. I haven't got any of those yet, but they, they'll come. In time. I've got me a spear to fight off the zombie hordes with. Have we got any, like, nice big rivers? Or... Oh, this looks like a nice big river where I could fish and all that sort of thing. And, or a big lake, at least. So, yeah, just, just below the lake, that's where I'm going to go. Because I can fish here and I can also go here to uh, fill up my water bottle which I'm going to need to do all the blinking time yeah so much water needed all the time so I'm assuming that this is big enough yeah. that way I don't disturb all my fish okay so I'll stick that one in can at this point maybe eat my vegetables or my meat. My vegetables seem to be what's going off the, the, the fastest, so I'm going to eat those. I'm going to make myself a stone pickaxe if I have enough stuff for it. Yes, I do. And I'm also going to start having a look at what I need to make a workbench. I need logs for that. So I'm going to need uh, to start cutting down trees with my axe getting logs so I can uh, I don't know if being drenched is a bad thing probably bad in it's probably really bad in the cold weather I mean at the moment it seems to be good weather Chop down one of these guys um, maybe grab that flower for some fiber you just always need these things now my inventory is full of junk yay i have a lot of aubergine eggplants i've got an avocado seed coffee seed i've got loads of seeds for things um which i may end up like throwing on the ground depending really oh no 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 don't stick me on this please Sometimes. Need a higher quality tool. Oh, thank goodness for that. Sometimes you get stuck on things and sometimes it's game breaking. Um, it's probably something that's going to get sorted out as the game develops, I'm almost certain. Uh, but it's a bit of a pain if it happens right now. Uh, I'm trying not to go places where I can get stuck, but I can't promise you anything. Um, and if I get stuck again, that might have to be the end. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, so, um, yeah, I've got loads of stuff that I need to drop. So I'm going to drop it all here. I'm going to make myself basically a, a little pile of things that aren't necessarily needed right away. Okay, so I need to craft a short bow and a fishing pole. So let's have a look. And see if I can make those. Fishing pole isn't too bad. 
Oh yeah, I need a workbench. Okay, can I make a workbench yet? I can. Okay. Can I make a short bow? No, what am I missing? A bit of cordage. Okay. While I make the cordage and everything, I'm just going to put my uh, workbench down. I'm going to try and put it down somewhere where I shouldn't be getting too stuck behind it. Not that that's always a guarantee. And then I, you press E on it to use it, and using that I should be able to make myself a short bow. And I should be able to hopefully make myself a fishing pole. You need more cordage. You go through it so fast. Okay, and then game arrows are needed. Okay. Now you get one set of these game arrows will give you three. So don't worry too much about making three lots of it. You only need one one go. So you can reload your bow and arrow with R. shooting things also you can uh, use your fishing rod I will show you that in a minute actually but first I want to kind of it's we're now at the end of the tutorial I've got my bow and everything so the next thing that I'm gonna want to make is uh, probably somewhere nearby to the workbench I want to I don't actually like the way the camera moves with that equipped so I probably won't keep it equipped but I want to make myself a fire now fire I want to make I want to make the best fire straight off the bat because, uh, you know, I'm extra. Uh, so I need eight stones, six logs, two kindling, and uh, a couple of tinder. So I'm going to go around and try and make all the things I need for a stone fire pit. Um, maybe chop down a tree or two first. Oh, stop it. I was picking up the, the fern that I stood by instead of the tree. But it's not what I needed make myself a little fire and then I'm gonna try and upgrade to making planks hello mister like a squirrel running away there that's hilarious nothing in that maybe one day one of them will give me clothes okay so, so what do we have so far I don't have enough stones I don't think so we definitely need more of those so these kind of stones that are around the camp will work perfectly well I'm not able, I don't believe, to, um, my pickaxe isn't good enough for the big one, the big stone jet. I think I'll need an iron one or higher for that. Please, come on. I'll be able to get unstuck from this, don't worry, it's, um, Okay, so we've got some copper as well. I don't really need copper, unfortunately. So I'm going to drop that on the ground as well. Right, so I've got five of the stones I need. I need eight big stones total. And it's getting very dark indeed. I'm a little bit behind on where I wanted to be. I wanted to have the fire by dark, but I do not. I've still got a good amount of food and water, so that's okay. Do you know what I'm like with food and water? I never check it. It's why I am terrible at survival games. I'm kind of good at like <laughs> the rest of it, just not the food and water stuff. Ah, my pickaxe ran out. A couple of 
sharp stones. I made sharp stones, what's going on? Oh, I do this all the time. I get so worried about zombies as well that I sometimes click the wrong thing. A small stone and there's sharp stone. And I needed sharp stone and I made small stone, which now means that I've got less of the big stones in my inventory, which I needed for my fire. Yay! Level up! I make myself, um, I think, quite a bit stronger, actually. I'm going to go for three strength there. See if I can hit the, uh, the enemies a bit better melee style. Right, so next thing I want to do. Uh, did I make that pickaxe? Let's check. A little bit distracted. Stone pickaxe, there we are. Thought I dropped those. Right, so now I've got my pickaxe and get the last few stones I need. Tools run out fast when they're stone tools. When you get to iron and things, I'm hoping they will be a little bit more durable. Okay, lovely. Alright, so I've got nine stones now. So let's have a look. What, what else do I need for my fire? Kindling and tinder. So kindling I can make. And I think you get two from one. And tinder. Right, how close are we now? Oh, I can make it. Wonderful. Yay, so 20 seconds time we'll have a fire. But then I need to go find some more sticks because we're going to need to make a hand drill. Yes, you got that right. And I'm going to put the fire right next to there because I'm more likely to get stuck if I put it right near something. And that's something else. So I might put it over here maybe. So there's my stone fire pit. I've also got a heavy stick, so I might be able to start thinking about making a stone, um, stone spear, maybe. Let's have a look and see if I can. Because the better weapons I have, the better it's going to be for me. Yeah, I just need a sharp stone and uh, some weak cordage. I can do that. So the other thing that I'm going to need, other than making uh, myself a, a nice sharp uh, spear, spear. Okay, is to go hunting for a few sticks around the place. Um, so I need to find myself. Yay, stone spear. Some more of these saplings. Um, get myself a couple more sticks. Nice, that should be enough. Oh, of course. Um, let's drop something out of my inventory. Hopefully soon I'll be able to make some proper Look at those sticks. I'll be able to make some proper storage. Never quite managed to get that far so far, but you know. We're 20 minutes in and we've got a fire and a workbench. So that's not too bad, right? Uh, so the next thing I need to make in the fire making thing is a hand drill so I can actually light the fire. So you, you can't just make a fire and turn it on and off and stuff. No, 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 no. You've got to light this thing. Yep, so let's, uh, let's go with that. Oh. So you're going to need to have it equipped. I don't need the cudgel and I don't need my other spear right now. They can just get dropped. Okay, so you go to one, you get your 
you get your uh, fire lighter all equipped. Oh, I'm parched. Okay, I'll get this lit and then we'll, we'll go for it. You press E and then spark it. Charges need to find more. No, more sticks. Oh, there's some up here. Nice. I have food that will spoil soon. Thank you, because I think I've got room to eat that. Um, same with this one. Same with these guys. If you can get above this level here, it will heal you. See? I'm getting healed now, which is really cool. Right. With my new sticks, let's make another fire drill. I did a very poor job of that. It's not an easy puzzle. It's not... A I am generally reasonably good at those things, but it does go very fast. Done! Yeah! Okay. It seems that I'm better at it when it goes from right to left. Don't know why. I'm just weird. Okay, so that is now lit. I can add logs to it and things like that. I can cook, but um, yeah, not right now. So the next thing I want to make is a sawhorse so I can make planks because uh, I'm wanting to make something to store all my stuff in. I need like a box or something. So uh, next is a station, a sawhorse. So I need four sticks. Oh surprise surprise, I need sticks. I'm kind of looking forward to getting past the stage of the game where all I ever need is sticks. One stick from that one. No. I think you do sometimes. I wonder what that is. That looks really interesting. I think you do sometimes get sticks from the bigger trees. But luckily, there's plenty of saplings around. That squirrel looks so scared. I'm not going to eat you, don't worry. You can be my pet squirrel. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is make a sawhorse with my sticks. I imagine I probably need to use the workbench for that. Uh, maybe I maybe I don't even need it, but... Sawhorse! Oh, I need a makeshift saw. Oh, okay. Makeshift stone saw. Okay, now I don't have enough to make the sawhorse. No! I need one more stick uh, and one more weak cordage. Weak cordage shouldn't be a problem. One more stick! No! So mean to me. It, this is where I can make sticks out of. I make them out of heavy sticks. I can make a heavy stick out of a log. Oh, why am I going around looking for these things? I should be crafting them. I'm just cutting down all the big trees. I worked that out in the first like 20 minutes because that could have been a, a big time waster. Okay, so let's use my newly available sticks to make myself the sawhorse. Oh, I don't have enough logs now. I turned them all into sticks. I'm finding this rather humorous, as you can tell. I'm just going to cut down a tree. Are you curious? You leave tracks, little squirrel. Can I track you later on? That'd be really cool. I feel bad when I turn birds' nests out. I feel extremely bad. Right, sawhorse. 
Yay! And now we can make planks. I don't know what we could do once we make planks, but you know, it's gonna keep going. Do as much as we can. Okay, um, I'm gonna check the fire. The fire seems fine. Uh, but the, the other thing that is not fine is my water situation. So let's drop maybe like, I don't know, these feathers or something. Let me get my water back out. I need that heavy stick. Yeah, this is my water replenishing puddle. Hopefully I won't die of thirst then, which would be amazing. Right. So the sawhorse, is it done? It is indeed. So again, I don't want it too close to other things. Like I say, you can get a bit stuck sometimes. Sawhorse. So now I can make a plank. Thatching and all sorts. I can make it plain. Which might be rather useful for some other things. Okay, so let's have a look at what other stations we've got. So we've got a wooden table. I don't know if you put wood on the table or if it's just made of wood. An anvil, an iron ingot and stone. Okay, I probably need a smelter for that. Primitive mortar. I only need a shovel to get clay, a smoker, a distillery. Okay, I don't need too much to make a loom, so I think maybe a loom would be good. And maybe a, oh, actually a pottery wheel I can't make, so. Okay, let's make some weak cordage. Want what else I need to make this loom? Some more sticks, so I need to make some more another heavy stick. Make some more sticks. And then I need to go get some more fibre from somewhere. Okay, I probably need to go back to the workbench actually. And then we're going to make a loom and then hopefully that, that'll make us some clothes, which will be good for the winter. I'm just trying to go through things as much as I can. We can make a bow drill as well. Ooh. If we have a stone knife, which I can actually make. And that might be a bit easier than the hand drill. well actually the other thing that i wanted to make to to get and i think this is probably why i wanted the saw horse as well under, a little bit of a, a diversion but it's under under bases base building cooking we've got a few bowls and things that i can i can make so i'm going to play around with those later as well but in the meantime <laughs> what was it i was doing uh I want to try and make myself a crate. I'm hoping that that will give me some storage for things. So I need, uh, I've got three out of four planks. I need one more plank, a bit more weak cordage. Okay. I'll make another plank. I don't have enough logs. Okay, let's go chop down a tree another tree. I think I might end up running out of my my axe as well there. I'm sorry squirrel, like every tree you probably go to live in, I chop down. I know, I have a nightmare.
Yeah, that has now run out. Okay. And this is why I so desperately, desperately need somewhere to store stuff. Because my goodness, I just do not have room. I'm hoping this crate will allow me to store some things. But we'll see. I don't know. I've never made one before. my uh my drill awesome okay let's try it one crate please what still need to make the plank what So one log makes four planks, but I must have used a plank for something like making the bow drill. So that didn't help. So uh, let's see if I've got enough to make some... Yeah, I do. Nice. Right, so I should have my crate now. I'll feel so much better. Really? No! Uh... I'll feel so much better once I have my crate. Provided it holds more than like one thing. <laughs> Imagine if it held like one thing. A stone hammer. Come off it. Stone hammer. I need one small stone. Well, we got some small stones that I dropped on the ground. a tiny inventory. So we're halfway through the logs on the fire. I'll need to replace them very, very soon. Okay. Stone hammer! I'm gonna not have enough uh, cordage now to make it. <laughs> you watch. You just watch it happen. Um... suspected. Ah, a nice turnip as well. Lovely. Oh, I can't do anything as my inventory's full. So this is what I'm hoping is I'll be able to like stack up a few ingredients, all that sort of stuff. that come to eat my stuff. That strength upgrade, big improvement. Oh, and his friend came too. Oh, and he dropped something. I don't know what it is yet. I'm trying to make this great, okay? Cordage. Stick. Wooden crate. Requires a stone hammer or a hammer. What? I got that. I made one. Oh. Why is it on the floor? <laughs> How can we make it? And then I'm gonna start storing some stuff away and then hopefully it won't be just junk all over the place. I can start being tidy with things. Okay. A sturdy wooden crate for storing your items. Sells for 64. Oh, things have prices on them. What? Look how much stuff I can put in there. I'm gonna cry. It's old, I don't need it. So I'll put that away. 
so worth it. So the stone knife and the saw and things like that can go in there. My leaves, like a nice pile of wood. Oh goodness me, this is so good. I'll keep my fishing pole on me. I'll keep my fire starting thing. Actually, I'm gonna keep that in a chest because I'm always gonna be near a fire when I wanted to light a fire sort of thing. Well, for now anyway. I'll definitely need my axe and my pickaxe. Not that I seem to have an axe at the moment, interestingly. I want my bow. Plant fiber there as well. A couple of sticks. Arrows. But so I probably want to make another one. Because uh, not everything is fitting in there. But now I can go and pick up all the rest of the stuff and see if any of it will stack. It just means I don't have to have stuff everywhere. Okay, what was that that the zombie dropped? Bait. Oh, fishing bait. Interesting. Okay, cool. I like it. Okay, let's um, grab some more fibre. What was it to make crates? It was fibre and it was cordage and planks, wasn't it? I definitely need a few of these. So I've got three. I need some more. Okay, I'm gonna need to make myself an axe. Oh look, there's some small stones on the ground there. like we're doing quite well other than the fact that my water's all gone and my food's nearly gone so let's sort that out because I'm, I'm like I say I'm terrible at this but having storage is making a huge difference to me like mentally if nothing else try not to get drenched while I pick up the water there we are lovely Right, what have I got in the way of food? Anything. Nothing really, so let's try uh, fishing. There's some bubbles. Some bubbles there, look. Look what I caught! A haddock. I got an entire haddock, lovely. Um, fire is still going by the skin of its teeth. So what I can do with that is I can go get a wooden log and add some wood to it. It'd be nice to get some lights and maybe torches or something around here. So I'm more likely now to be able to have the things on me that I need rather than trying to just keep things, you know. So... Get away from my fire or I'm gonna like beat your butt. Wow, you are quite the strong zombie. There's a quick log to add to fire, add wood. Well, I tried. It's not working very well. Let's uh, chop this log up and see if I can get a bit more wood on my fire for the night. though so I don't mind too much.
Well, that seems a lot better. Uh, uh, nice big heavy stick here. Cut any stumps and bits and pieces on the ground that I see. Just cleaning the place up in general. Get my stones bit. Ah, oh, that's probably why I didn't do very well against the last zombie. Because I was using my wooden spear, not my stone spear. Yay, you dropped some cordage. Nice. Zombie hunting pays off. Let's make sure that none of them are around my camp. No, I don't think they are. Cool. I'm just trying to clean up my general camp area as well. I don't think that, that bird is ever coming back for us stuff. And if I can find any fibre, that's really cool as well. If I can find any uh, oh, veggie to eat. Nom. My inventory's full. How? Oh, there's a turnip over there when I can fit it. Let's go and have a look in here then. There is one space. One. But then it looks like a lot of the stuff isn't stacking. Like heavy sticks should stack together. Or maybe they don't. Maybe I need to take those back out and make them into uh, stick sticks. Sticks definitely stack. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some sticks. Heavy sticks, I'll make them out of logs, it's fine. Okay, so that's ten sticks. And I'll swap it for some leaves. But I definitely, definitely need another one of these. And, and uh, my haddock, I can actually remove the bones. And make it into like fillets, which I can then cook on my fire. Show you because I'm getting very hungry right now and also I'm thirsty again. I don't know how uh, my water bottle is completely empty yet again. So actually um, yeah the, the food is worse though food is worse so we're gonna cook fish fillets in my cook pot. I don't know how I have a cook pot. Just do apparently. And then the other fish fillet. I should keep me fed for a little while. Nom. Nom. But I could do with catching some more fish, honestly. And as I say, making myself another crate because, oh, that's going to be so nice. I have no idea. I don't know what I can do about, like, eggs at the moment. Um, if anything. We've got cooked meat. We've got vegetables, a salad, three vegetables and a fruit, and then um, stew, which is a veggie, raw meat and water. Okay. Just gonna go and get my water sorted out. And then we're going to work on another crate because I need like more than one. So just remind me, remind me game, what do I need for another crate? A rain collecting barrel. Wow, I don't need that right now. A wooden barrel. Use an anvil to craft it. Wow. A bed. That actually doesn't take that much. Might be useful. A stone floor. Oh, nice. A wooden floor out of planks and adhesive. No, the stone looks like it's easier to make. 
that's cool but um, for now I'm happy just to go for crates so planks and cordage that's all you need planks and cordage once you've worked out all the tough stuff so how much cordage fiber do I have is ne the next question I can make strong cordage on the loom okay coolio I don't have any plant fiber right now so we need to go on a little hunt see how my fire's doing about halfway so I could probably do with like grabbing some logs on the way as well logs and fiber Hopefully as I grab, gather fibre I might gra be able to gather a few vegetables and things. But I definitely feel like things are very much like survival at the moment. It really is like everything is about eating, drinking and then making the odd thing. And it's very hand to mouth as well. Although I do like it in the daytime because I can do a lot of uh, chopping of wood and things. I prefer not to go for the trees, I prefer like to just get the logs. Now I know that I can just make sticks and just craft them whenever I want. I can just get these little logs on the ground and they're not too bad. Pickaxe, uh, sorry, my axe is going to run out very soon though. Plenty of uh, bits to forage though, there's another turnip there. So I'll be able to make some cooked veggies at the very least. In fact, that's what I'll do straight away, I think. So I could do put some more logs on the fire. I've got lots of logs actually. And grape seeds. Hmm, interesting. I've got a lot of seeds. I want to try and keep them just in case I'm able to do something with them. So add wood. Oh, right back up to the top now. I used a lot of wood doing that though. Fortunately, some looks as salad, vegetables and a fruit, so I won't be able to do that. A stew, vegetable, meat and water, I won't be able to do that. So I would say probably cooked vegetables is my best bet. And then maybe catch myself another fish or something. and then if I find another vegetable I'll sort of add it okay so I've got a lot of cordage but I don't have a ton of wood hopefully it'll still maybe yeah I don't know I don't even know if that'll be enough um, let's make some planks did I put my saw away must have done yes I did indeed I'll make myself a set of um, planks. Once we've done that, planks are done. Need some cordage. Cordage. I only made three because I'm silly. Oh, 
I need sticks, do I? Okay, I thought it's I thought it's planks for a crate. Yeah, it is. What was I trying to do? Like a floor or something? I don't know. Wall. See, these all need nails. Everything except for a wooden fence. Oh, okay. So I could make myself a fence. I worry I'll get stuck on it though, so I might not do that. That might be the sort of thing I'll do maybe once the game actually releases and has save states and things in it, so that if I do get stuck, it's not quite such a big uh, palaver. But wooden crates, super useful. Oh, I need the hammer for that. Okay. Just have to be in my inventory, that's all. And the more storage I have, the easier it's going to be for me to um, keep all my tools on me at all times. I could put one kind of over by the fire, right? That could keep things like kindling and food. That might be useful, right? Move all the kindling stuff over there. Leaves. Birch bark, that's all for kindling. Turnip, which is for food, because that's for cooking. Eggs, they're for food and cooking. Arrows on me. Maybe I'll put all the seeds in here as well. Keep the plant fibre on me. Might put the bird feather in there, I don't know. Actually, I don't think I will. I think I want to try and have a bit of a system. So like plant fibre and stone, I feel like I kind of need to keep those on me. Not sure though. So tinder, eggs, um, plant fibre to keep them on me. A small bone could probably go over there. And then like pine boughs can go there, feathers. Copper nugget, I won't need that for ages, I'm certain. Small stones and fibre I think I'll keep in my inventory. Stone knife I'll try and keep on me. Hand drill obviously I won't be using now because I've got a, a, a better one. Oh, I think I did, yeah, a bow drill. Keep that on my hotbar as well. Then I'll go put the eggs, tinder, and small bone away in the other chest. And it probably won't be the last chest I have to make, but for now it's quite good. Thing, I don't mind what chest it goes in if it's something like a spear, it's just like total overflow at that point. And that way I can put the stone hammer down onto my hot bar properly. I don't want these in a bit more of an order. So I've got knife, saw, hammer, fire starting kit, fishing rod there, and I've got my sort of bow my spear and then my pickaxe and axe. I'm going to need another axe really soon. Probably need a stick or two for that. So let's go and um... Whoa! That's like two of them! Ah! They're getting harder. bucket? Thanks dude. Don't mind if I do. Okay and we are going to wrap it up there. So that is my first look at Wanderlust. 
still uh, seems to need a little bit of tweaking here and there, but it does give you a very good idea of the sort of things you can do in the game. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to um, see more of this, maybe once it comes out, then please do subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.